Hi, I'm Heidi Kaizen from Hen and Chick Studio, and I want to talk to you today about my UFO project I'm working on. Because I know I'm not alone when I say that we have a lot of unfinished projects. I'm sure you have several in your stash, and I encourage you to get them out and get working on them. I've pulled one out from 1998. Yes, it is aged very well in my stash, and I decided that 2015 was the year to tackle this project. It's an all applique project from Piece of Cake Designs called Cinnamon Stitches. My goal in 2015 is to try to master needle turn applique. My grandmother did it beautifully and I would like to too, but it's not something that comes easy. I figure you have to practice a lot to, to really accomplish and master the skill. So with the 12 blocks that are in this project, I'm sure to get a lot of experience by the end of the year. I want to show you the couple projects I'm working on, the blocks that I'm working on. This is block number one. Here's block number two. And I'm currently working on block number three. It's supposed to be done by the end of March. Do you think I can accomplish that goal? I still have several of these buds and vines. There's one done, but I've got three more of those in order to finish this project. There are three tools that I'm using that I really like. The first one's gonna be a little hard to see, but they are in my project. They're the Clover applique pins. They're very small with a little white head, and they're wonderful for grabbing on um, the, 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 enough fabric to keep it onto my background, but not so big that I'm constantly poking myself. So it's a great tool. The second tool I really like is the Soline Fabric Glue Pen. It is a wonderful tool with a, a refillable blue uh, glue. It also does come in some other colors. This is perfect for so many things, including preparing hexagons. Um, I use it for preparing my applique pieces because I can't quite do it like my grandma did where she actually used her needle to turn the fabric on, under. I'm pr preparing my pieces so the fabric is already turned under and I'm simply slip stitching it. The third and final tool that I am loving using are my Karen K. Buckley scissors. They are so sharp, they come with a special cover and they have wonderfully large handles so my hands fit in very nicely. This is something that I really appreciate um, with my, my hands. They don't hurt when you're trying to cut. I encourage you, get out your UFO project and see what you can accomplish this year.